In this video, we're going to demonstrate the basics of how to connect to MakerPlot. Now, you've seen in the basic plotting series and in the interface series, if you viewed them, all the neat things that MakerPlot can do. But when it comes right down to it, and you've uh, actually downloaded MakerPlot and have it and want to actually connect something to it, how do you connect to it? Well, this video is going to show you how, and it's pretty easy. So we're going to start off here with our demonstrator board, which is our UNO shield. And to it, we have connected a 10K pot with the center tap connected to the A0 analog input and the left terminal connected to plus 5 volts and the right terminal of the plot connected to ground. And this will give us an increasing voltage output as we turn the pot in a clockwise direction. So that's all we have for our setup. Again, the only other thing is we have a USB connection from the USB connector of the UNO to our PC. And here is our MakerPlot code, which is also equivalently simple. Let's look at our constant. We have defined our analog input pin as A0, and we've initialized it as an integer to sensor value equals 0. We have simply serial.begin 9600, and that will set up our baud rate to 9600 baud. Then just for our loop, we just read the sensor value. We print line the sensor value, and print line means that we're going to actually send a carriage return after every sensor value is uh, sent. We're going to wait 100 milliseconds and then just repeat the loop. So that's it. Now we can switch over to MakerPlot itself. And in this case, we're going to use our alarming meters interface. So we'll click on it and let it load. And we come down here to the control section. We notice uh, that our Arduino is on uh, COM port 9 and it's set up to 9600 mod. So let's just click on the control and we'll begin to uh, plot data. As we see, we have a black plot line going across the screen. I'm going to turn the potentiometer and we'll notice that the potentiometer moves up and down, back and forth. So we're indeed connected to MakerPlot and we are indeed sending analog data. In this case, it's standard a to D type output data going from 0 to uh, 1024, or rather 1023. And we also notice here on channel 0, this is our meter. And our meter is maxing out at 250, which it is set to. And our analog value is going from 0 to 1000. So let's do one thing that we've seen before in another video. And that is, let's set our meter to the Y scale, which go is going from 0 to 1000. To do that, just click on the Set Meter to Y Scale button. And now our meter is set from 0 to 1000. So we can change our analog value, and now our meter follows it uh, pretty regularly. And as we've seen before, we can uh, set a alarm enable switch. And of course, when we go over the maximum set point, we get our alarm signal. Yeah, it seems to go on forever, so we'll turn off our alarm enable. But that's it. That's how to connect to MakerPlot, and that's how to send one channel of analog data. And that should do it. So if you haven't done this yet, please go ahead and do it. Begin to experiment around with MakerPlot.